Hello everyone and thank you so so much for joining me for another video. Today is Saturday, September 28th. We are in class and I can't wait to show you what it is we're going to be doing today because it's going to be super fun. Something that I've never done before only because it's um, a little bit of work and um, just a lot of movement, a lot of moving around. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around and show you what we're working with. But before I do that, today's class is about creation. Um, normally, every single year, what I do is I have about two classes per subject um, or per topic. So today would be creation and next week would be creation. However, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to not bore the kids so much. <laughs> giving them the same topic for two Saturdays in a row unless I absolutely have to so I think we might be able to get through creation in just one day today but again let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm working with so when the kiddos walk in this is kind of what they're gonna be walking into they're gonna be wickedly confused because their name tags aren't up um, there's stuff kind of all over the place here. We've got our rules again. We've got some stuff over here. So I like doing stuff like this because it makes them, oh, 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 wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> it makes them think as they walk in because they're going to be wondering, hmm, what is this all about? So what we're doing this year is we're doing some stations. I also have this on the door as you were able to see. Um, I just like to be a little redundant sometimes. So let's start off over here with this station. So we're going to have, so I have in my class this year two helpers, and I'll have you guys meet those ladies when they come in, um, Beverly and Hannah. They used to be my students in the past, and now they're back to help. So um, Jose, my husband, Hannah, and Beverly will each have a group of four children each. Hopefully I can float around and help each group and record while I'm at it. <laughs> and that's kind of why I did it that way. So here we've got six little bowls for um, six, I know there's seven days of creation, but six days of creation, of active creation. And literally guys, this is just a little bowl. I don't even know where I found these, probably the dollar store or something like that, but I can assure you that they were super cheap because you guys already know. <laughs> I printed these little things out, laminated them, um, hot glued them onto the bowl, and this is all I use these bowls for. Then I printed out a couple of these little pictures, and all of this comes together in the package that I downloaded online. I did not create any of this. It's already been created for us um, by other amazing creative people. <laughs> so I print all these out. Each kiddo will come up, grab one, figure out what it is, figure out what day it goes in, and put it in the bowl, just like that. And then we, we the teachers, we the adults, <laughs> we the older people, whatever, um, will then come up and figure out if what they put in was right or not. And then whenever we find something like this in here, we'll say, oh, did God create that on day number four? We'll show them the picture, give them a chance to really figure it out <laughs> and get it right. So that station, or one of the stations, because I haven't really numbered them, let's come over here. This station over here, again, four children, so I've got four scissors, four glue sticks, bunch of these. Um, it's kind of matching, so they're gonna cut out these pictures over here, and they're gonna glue them where they belong over here. What I really, really like about this, guys, is that each number, let me see if you can see, kind of shows what the picture shows. See what I mean? Number two, clouds. We've got this one here. So, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, oh, come on in, okay. And that should be kind of fun for the kiddos. Let's come over here. And I did have flip chart papers with um, made by God, come on camera, made by God, and then made by people done, left it at home. So we're just gonna roll with what we've got. I've got these little things here. Uh-oh, I'm not ready. Hold on. Because I do want to show you. Ah! More pictures, basically. So we've got water, we've got trees. We've got other stuff not made by God. <laughs> um, 
And what the kids are gonna do is they're gonna use this tape, or we, or the adults, are gonna use this tape, put some tape on the back of this, and the kids are gonna come up and they're going to either tell us if this monkey was made by God, or if the monkey was made by people. So that's that station, and each station I'm giving 10 minutes for, 10, 15 minutes for, and if they finish this quickly, then there's this sheet here, um, kind of like as a filler. So there's that. Let's come around there. The numbers again. These numbers I just got from Oriental Trading, and I just like to have them as props. Sometimes I will hold them up. Um, other times I won't, and I'll just put them up like this. This is what hubby did, so we're just gonna leave it that way. And seven. Oh, what else? Ah, over here. So we've got Days of Creation matching game. So this, let's see. Oh, this, I don't think I could do one-handed. Uh, and again, everything is creation, and I just want to be a little extra. Um, and have different activities so that they can do, so that hopefully they will remember something. <laughs> okay, so we've got numbers and we've got pictures. Uh, let's see how I can do this, let's see. Okay, so day number four, we'll go with this one. And literally it's gonna be a matching game, so they're gonna have these flipped over like this. I mean, all of them are gonna be flipped over, of course. And they're gonna flip, Oh, day number four, and they're gonna hopefully look for the other one. And once they get a match, well, you know, it's a match. So there's that. Um, let me come and show you some other stuff here because I like to show um, easy things too, different ways of doing things. So you guys saw this um, connect, draw the lines, connect, creation connect um, activity over there next to the made by God, made by people um, thing. Guess what guys? Most of the things you're gonna download online are going to come with answer keys. Um, let me show you this also. This is the one that you saw over there that they're gonna cut and paste in the right spot. And guys, I do understand that, like I said, these have pictures. We're human, <laughs> we are human. Just because we're adults doesn't mean that we remember everything, know it all, whatever. And I just wanna make sure that myself, my husband and my helpers are all on the same page and we're telling the kiddos the correct thing at the correct time. So, so here are our cheat sheets and we're all gonna be having these. This one is only one. I will have it over there by that station. This one, however, I did make three, four copies of it um, so that we could each have a copy and walk around with it just to make sure, again, that we are correcting the kiddos the correct way, if that made sense. <laughs> I also have extra stuff, guys. Remember the whole over-preparing thing. So, here is circle the people in the picture that are caring for God, for the gifts of God's creation. So for example, this one, yes, watering um, the lawn. This one is uh, being a caring friend to this person and flying a kite with them. This um, young kiddo is talking to this older lady being very nice. However, then we've got persons like this littering. <laughs> um, so um, keep off sign and are the kids keeping off? Not necessarily. So, there's that one, then there's this. I don't think we're gonna be using this. This is a booklet um, to be made. We cut that, you know, cut it down here in the middle. Then you kind of fold it in a certain way that it becomes like this accordion booklet. Um, so those two activities are kind of extras. This blue envelope that you see here is just another creation matching game. Again, guys, I just try to be a little extra and a little over-prepared just in case so I don't know if I'll have extra kids or whatever and i need to you know create another group or something this envelope again just extra stuff that i cut up laminate um so just days of creation and i have no idea how i'm going to be using this i just might not um but i have it in the event that i need it uh here's my little altar <laughs> my little prayer table i should call it because that's basically what it is this does turn on, we just need to flip the switch on the bottom. And there it is, <laughs> battery operated. This is what my kiddos see in my little prayer table. I usually always have this open to Psalm 23. 
Um, there is my Trinity crucifix that I showed in my autumn haul video. And that's about it. So I'm gonna bring you guys back around once my kiddos come in. I hope everything goes as planned because I'm kind of excited for today's class. So let's see how it goes. He shapes and colors, he made mountains, hills, and valleys. We'll let, we'll let them put it wherever they think they go, and then we'll the correct it. I don't know. You tell me where the bee goes. Here we've got, look at the pictures. Yep, here we've got birds, and oh, what's that? Okay. Cross your body, yep. Holy. Holy. Um, Luna, other side. Yep, holy. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Ready? We're gonna get it right this time, right? Amen. Father, and the Son. 